the Boeing 747, often affectionately referred to as the Queen of the Skies, stands as one of the most iconic and revolutionary aircraft in the history of aviation. Introduced in the late 1960s, the 747 marked a significant leap forward in commercial aviation, reshaping the industry and enabling new possibilities for global travel and commerce. This video explores the history, design, technological innovations, and enduring legacy of the Boeing 747, highlighting its profound impact on aviation and the world at large. The genesis of the Boeing 747 can be traced back to the early 1960s. Boeing had just changed the world by launching its Boeing 707 to the world, which was the first jet plane. Jet planes were more safer, efficient and more cheaper, however, Pan American needed a larger capacity plane. Juan Trippi, the visionary founder of Pan American World Airways Pan Am, approached Boeing with a request for a new high-capacity airliner, which he wanted it to be twice the size of the 707 to meet the growing demand for long-haul air travel. Tripp envisioned a jumbo jet that could carry more passengers than any previous aircraft thus lowering operating costs per seat and making air travel more accessible to the masses. Boeing responded to TRIP's challenge by launching the development of what would become the 747, a groundbreaking aircraft characterized by its distinctive humpbacked fuselage and four-engine configuration. The design team, led by Joe Sutter, faced numerous engineering challenges, including the development of the world's first high-bypass turbofan engines capable of powering such a massive aircraft. Initially, the initial design of the 747 was an entire double-decker, but it would be difficult to evacuate all passengers. After years of research, design iterations, and testing, the Boeing 747 made its maiden flight on February 9, 1969, heralding a new era in commercial aviation. The aircraft's sheer size and innovative features captured the imagination of the public and industry alike, setting new benchmarks for performance, capacity, and range. At the heart of the Boeing 747's design philosophy was its emphasis on size, capacity, and versatility. The aircraft featured a wide-body fuselage, allowing for a spacious cabin layout capable of accommodating up to 550 passengers in a typical configuration. Its distinctive upper deck, located forward of the wing, provided additional seating or could be configured for premium amenities such as lounges or sleeping quarters. The 747 for engine configuration featuring Pratt A. Whitney GT named turbofan engines offered ample power and redundancy, ensuring reliable performance over long distances and across diverse operating conditions. The aircraft's high wing design, coupled with advanced aerodynamics and flight control systems, provided exceptional stability and handling characteristics, even at maximum takeoff weights. In terms of range, the Boeing 747 was a true global traveler, capable of flying non-stop between major cities on intercontinental routes. Its ability to carry both passengers and cargo made it a versatile workhorse for airlines and freight operators alike, facilitating the rapid movement of people and goods around the world. Over the decades since its introduction, the Boeing 747 has undergone continuous evolution and refinement with several variants and iterations tailored to meet the evolving needs of the market. The first variant of the 747 was a 747. 100 and later the 747-200 was launched. Later, the 747-300 was launched with an extended upper deck. However, this was the least populist variant as it still required a flight up. One of the most notable variants is the 747-400, introduced in the late 1980s, which featured upgraded engines, avionics, and aerodynamics, resulting in improved fuel efficiency, range, and per In addition to passenger variants, Boeing also developed specialized versions of the 747 for military, government and cargo applications. The 747-400 freighter variant, for example, became a mainstay in the global air cargo industry, 
offering unparalleled capacity and efficiency for transporting goods and supplies. Despite it being a success in the early 1970s and 1980s, it has been involved in some tragic events such as the Tenerife Airport disaster, which was the worst accident in aviation history, and the crash of Japan Airlines Flight 123. However, this beloved aircraft had a disadvantage as travel back then was not as safe as it is now. Comparing to the older and newer 747, variants the popular 747, 400 had less fatal In the 1980s, airlines replaced their upper deck lounges with seats for increased revenue. The Boeing 747, once revered as the queen of the skies, began to experience a decline in its prominence and popularity. Several factors contributed to its fall from grace during this decade. The emergence of more fuel-efficient twin-engine aircraft, such as the Boeing 777 and Airbus A330, posed a significant challenge to the quad-engine 747's operating economics. Additionally, airlines sought to streamline their fleets and adapt to changing market demands, leading to a shift towards smaller, more versatile aircraft, the rise of point-to-point -point travel routes further diminished the need for the 747's high passenger capacity and long-range capabilities, favoring more direct and efficient connections. Consequently, the iconic jumbo jet faced a decline in orders and utilization, marking a turning point in its illustrious history. In the early 2000s, Airbus unveiled its answer to the Boeing 747, the A380, the largest passenger aircraft ever built. Boasting even greater capacity and efficiency, the A380 posed a direct challenge to the dominance of the 747. Airlines were enticed by the A380's promise of increased passenger numbers and reduced operating costs per seat mile. The arrival of the Airbus A380 signaled a shift in the aviation landscape, and the Boeing 747 began to face stiff competition. Airlines seeking to modernize their fleets and capitalize on the efficiencies offered by newer aircraft started to retire their aging 747s in favor of the more fuel-efficient A380Zs. Moreover, the A380's ability to accommodate more passengers without compromising on comfort made it an attractive choice for long-haul routes, further eroding the market share of the 747. Recognizing the need to adapt to changing market demands, Boeing responded by introducing the 7478, an updated version of its iconic jumbo jet. The 7478 incorporated advanced aerodynamics, fuel-efficient engines, and modern avionics, offering improved performance and reduced operating costs compared to the A380. However, despite these efforts, the 7478 struggled to compete effectively against the A380 which had already established itself as the preferred choice for many airlines. Only three airlines ordered the 7478, which were Lufthansa, Korean Air and Air China. However, the freighter version of this aircraft was much more successful than the passenger version, but not as successful as the 747-400. During the early 2010s to the mid-2010s, Numerous airlines bid farewell to the iconic Boeing 747, once hailed as the Queen of the Skies. This era marked a significant transition in the aviation industry, with carriers phasing out the legendary jumbo jet in favor of more fuel-efficient and technologically advanced aircraft, which also included its big competitor, the A380. Japan Airlines, boasting the largest fleet of over 100 aircraft, concluded its association with the 747 in 2011, signifying a decisive milestone in the aircraft's retreat from commercial service. Subsequently, a year hence, Singapore Airlines followed suit, orchestrating a poignant farewell to this aviation icon with a commemorative flight to Hong Kong, imbued with a sense of nostalgic reverence. In 2017, Boeing concluded its passenger deliveries of this aircraft 
with the final one given to Korean Air, which was a 7478. That same year, United Airlines and Delta Airlines executed the ceremonial retirement of this aviation marvel, thereby extinguishing the presence of American carriers in the operational realm of this esteemed aircraft, signifying a profound shift in the trajectory of modern air transportation. Amidst the global upheaval caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, the Boeing 747, once revered as the epitome of long-haul air travel, faced unprecedented challenges as travel restrictions tightened and passenger demand plummeted. Airlines worldwide grounded their 747 fleets, relegating these majestic jets to storage facilities or accelerating retirement plans. Many big 747 operators retired this aircraft like Qantas, British Airways and KLM. The pandemic-induced downturn accelerated the demise of the 747, with carriers opting for smaller, more fuel-efficient aircraft better suited to the diminished demand and uncertain future of air travel. Despite its storied history, the COVID-19 crisis marked a somber chapter for the iconic jumbo jet underscoring the profound impact of the pandemic on the aviation industry. The A382 had the same fate as the Boeing 747, which too was grounded. In 2021, Airbus ended production of the A380. During the pandemic, the Boeing 747 cargo aircraft played a crucial role in global logistics, serving as a lifeline for essential goods and medical supplies. Despite the challenges posed by the pandemic, these iconic jumbo jets proved their resilience and adaptability, ensuring the efficient flow of critical goods to communities in need across the globe. As the pandemic persisted and demand for cargo transportation remained high, the 747 cargo aircraft continued to operate tirelessly, traversing continents and bridging gaps in global supply chains. However, as the world gradually emerged from the grips of the crisis and air travel patterns shifted, airlines began to reassess their fleet strategies. With advancements in technology and the emergence of more fuel-efficient alternatives like the Boeing 777-8, which could carry similar capacity but with twin-engine economics, the era of the 747 cargo aircraft eventually drew to a close. In the waning months of the pandemic, the last 747 was ceremoniously delivered, marking the end of an illustrious chapter in aviation history. The end of the 747 production does not mean you won't see this aircraft again. There are still 441 aircrafts flying today, most of the as a freighter aircraft, however there are still 50 operated by passenger aircrafts. Lufthansa is currently flying the most passenger aircrafts with 27 aircrafts to places like Los Angeles, Singapore, Tokyo and Johannesburg. Therefore, this airline is the highest chance of you to get on board a 747.